That's you. She You're already eco warrior <laughs> princess. <laughs> Number one, eco fashion tips. Do you need it? Mm. Mm. Do you need to buy the item? How often will you wear it? Or will it just sit and worn in your closet? Have you got stuff that's in your closet with the oh, tags still on? Many, many things. Yeah, me but actually, the, the beauty about working on a ship is you do become quite a minimalist because you travel so much. I... I got off my last ship and I came home to all the clothes that I decided not to bring and I thought, I haven't worn these in six months or even thought about them. Mm. So I just, I just like put them in the food. <laughs> the food? I hope you didn't. Wait, put in the food what? bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh sick of these God. jeans, I'm going to put them in the food bank. <laughs> no, I put them in the clothes bank. Oh, okay. Um, so now it's really nice because I my life is kind of compact. Mm. Um the stuff I own is stuff that I wear all the time That's good. and then if I don't wear something for a couple of months I just kind of go back to it and I'm like am I how attached to this am I mm. you know very true is someone else gonna get more from it than me that makes sense what else I have quite a lot actually that's just still with tags on yeah <laughs> yeah don't fit in it anymore <laughs> but that could also just be a covid thing I think it is because a lot of people bought like loads of stuff. I think I don't remember if it was Old Polly or something that had like a massive oh, sale on. Yeah. And I got like I think you could you could have got like four or five dresses for like forty five pounds. And oh, I never treat good. myself and never buy anything, so I bought some. And I think I've worn one of them because we went into COVID like just before. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I bought one a new dress for Christmas, and then obviously we couldn't go out on Christmas. Oh yeah. So. No. <laughs> So that you still probably will wear them then. I think I'll wear them, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. And we've got, uh, number two is research. Learn more about who made your clothes and if the workers are being treated fairly. That's, well, you just read out some facts before I started recording that were shocking. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Fast fashion facts. Fast fashion brands to avoid. Uh, so there's just a few of these, basically. Number one on it is Uniqlo. I don't know whether it's... How Uniqlo. factual that how like you know, yeah, who it is that's come up with it, but bad working conditions for the workers doesn't right. really go into much detail. Mm -hmm. Um, but you've got Zara, so they were accused of using migrant workers in Brazil to work in slave like conditions. Eek. I don't really buy from Zara to be honest. I think I've got one top, mm. but I bought, I'm guilty, did, I'm guilty of Zara. I just had the really bad experience because I bought mm. what did I buy? I bought two tops from there and then they all just fell them, apart yeah and one, of them, one of them was ripped so I took it back I exchanged it and then that rips and I just thought oh you know what Zara's yeah. just <laughs> I think you did have a bad Awful. experience yeah I did terrible yeah <laughs> what else this is another fact it takes an average of 7,000 litres of water to produce one pair of jeans that's crazy and that's roughly equivalent to the amount of water God. one person will drink over the span of six to seven years I don't get that it's, it's just because they're washing them constantly and oh my God. And, and they use all different types of finishes. Don't you imagine the, the, all the different styles of jeans you can get with yeah. all the different finishes? Yeah. Oh, God, that's insane. It's... Uh, mm. Landfills. So, discarded clothing made of non-biodegradable fabrics can sit in landfills for up to 200 years. Whoa. Imagine if you go into a landfill and you find like some Victorian clothes in there. Yeah, well, you just find a lot of talk about vintage. Who misguided? Like, yeah, I'm just going vintage shopping. Where yeah. are you going? Oh, to my local landfill. Local landfill, I'm getting them out. No, but it's like I think wow. it's like fabrics like polyester that don't biodegrade. Oh, and, like, they tell you to kind of. That's why we look at eco-friendly fabrics. Yeah. So eco-friendly fabrics are organic, the natural and biodegradable materials. Yeah over toxic synthetic plastic materials so that brings me on to i obviously have loads of new gym wear oh, okay. is that really bad because like a mix of lycra and spandex and whatever it is i don't know it depends yeah i suppose it depends what it's made of lycra and spandex so here we go here's a guide to different fabrics let's see if it's in there no oh <laughs> <laughs> polyester is I'm assuming it's polyester, synthetic fabrics. Yeah. So it's not 
I'm not saying it's not very breathable, but I'd assume that it would it, be. It would have to be, yeah. Hmm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really giving me much else, to be honest. So, guys, with this podcast, it's probably off to a sporadic start. It's not as um, <laughs> it's not as structured as our usual one, because 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 we were just both feeling businessed out and yeah. we wanted to we wanted to tackle the subject of um when you bur- when you're having burnout yeah and you know your business 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 go 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 and you have kind of a block whether it's a business block or a creative block mm-hmm. um how do you get over it you know and how do you keep enjoying the thing that you do rather than seeing it as something that is just taking all of your energy and you're, you're drying out of ideas for it mm-hmm. so that's why this podcast is looser yeah than usual because we had a plan we were like we're going to talk about rebranding mm-hmm. i wanted to, i wanted to talk about um people's processes like how do you come up with an idea from scratch and then develop it into a, a, you know a collection for yeah. example for you and an album for me, whatever it is. But actually, I think we would rather just take a chill pill. I think I, just, I think that's it. I just at that point where I've been doing the same thing. I wouldn't say the same thing, but I've been working on the same project now for ages. Yeah, and I'm just a bit fed up. Of it. <laughs> She's just a bit fed up, fed up of it, and I just want to go somewhere new, which I can't. But I'm <laughs> going somewhere new. On You're going to Brick Lane. I'm going to go Brick Lane Vintage Market and check that out because I think that's open. Yeah. Um, that'll be nice that'll be good i did a photo shoot on tuesday um with ryan swanscott his name is he if you want to find him on instagram it's wavy photos wavy with an e um really really great like i loved the shoot yeah it was it was great because we immediately both had the same vision for the kind of photos we wanted to get Mm -hmm. and you know in a shoot how me and him were discussing it as well you know when you've got the shot that happened to us in the first like 20 minutes oh like we got off to a start and it we immediately were just like he was like we've we've got it like the rest of the day now is a bonus because i and and we looked back at the photos on his camera and it was like yeah we've got the money shot so everything that on top of that now is just just extra yeah so it was really it's it's a good feeling because you can have shoots where um where you just don't it doesn't happen you don't Mm. get that perfect shot for whatever reason yeah so that was fun that sounds good how long was you there for not long an hour and a half and i did four different outfits and four oh different locations should have got him to but to take the pictures for me as well <laughs> well yeah. yeah we'll probably we'll probably work work together again so yeah if you want to work with him reach out he's really oh, really great sounds interesting. I had such a good time yeah so watch this space guys because i want to build a website and i want to use these photos as promo photos for that um i'm kind of talking about branding i'm sorry you're it's talking right. about business. I'm, I'm just trying to find some, trying to find the answer to that you question, but I can't. Oh, about find anything. about Gymshark and like yeah, gym mm. stuff. Yeah, but because that's so common now, everyone is wearing gym stuff. That's true. Well, I've just keep finding facts. Fashion is contributing to the extinction of one million plant and animal species. Oh my god! That's on the Sustainable Fashion Forum on Instagram that I follow. Wow. Ugh. There's god. a lot, isn't there? There's. There's a lot of things that we do that's very damaging to lots of different things. It says here, other materials such as wool and cashmere can lead to land degradation and the disruption of food chains, uh, while synthetic fibres such as polyester, so I'd assume that's yeah. lycra, blah, 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 come from the mining of fossil fuels, again leading to land degradation, <sighs> say it, degradation and loss of habitat, oh, not to mention the, the greenhouse gas emissions of the millions of harmful microplastics that are later released into our oceans. Wow. Oh, it's so sad. It's God. so sad. Maybe we should do all this or that now. Yeah, <clears> let's <throat> cheer up the mood. Yeah. yeah. So I have some fashion ones. Okay. Let's start with fashion because we're on that. So... This is Cosmopolitan quiz. It's I don't know what year it's from, but some of them are, are all right. Okay. Um, first question is: Would you rather, for the rest of your life, wear only jeans, even at the gym, 
or only leggings, including, for example, a formal event? Oh, see, I'd, I'd say leggings because they're comfy. Yeah. For a formal event, I suppose you could wear it, you know, dress it up. Yeah. As well, you could oh, wear, yeah. like, really nice kind of tunic top or something yeah. over it. And leggings with heels is quite a look. That's true. Get nice, get yourself a nice thick pair of leggings. Yeah, I've got thick, I've got But not fossil now. fuel leggings. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, these are from Primark, so uh, yeah, mine I, I do apologise. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, they're probably from the same factory. Well, they're so, probably you know, from the Brazilian same person's made slave them, workers. Could, could be. Could oh, be. God, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, I know. It's, it's traumatic. Oh, but but these, are, these are fur lined. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real animal fur. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, they'd be they're much not, more expensive. I don't think Primark would do real fur. No, that's it's not expensive. But no, enough. yeah, I think I'd go for leggings. I do really like jeans though, but you know that amount of six to seven years worth of mm. water just to make one pair of yeah. jeans is not. It's I don't love them that much. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I I just choose leggings anyway. I think they're fab. I, I, think I they're wear really them all the time. Now. I know. Yeah. Um, you right? This is so funny. I, I was reading this quiz to you earlier, mm. just a few of like to see if it's something we wanted to do, and I asked you this question. <laughs> For the rest of your life, would you rather wear heels or flats as your only shoe choice? And you said heels. I said heels. <laughs> <laughs> but every day for the rest of your life. Yeah, because, you know, your feet are mould, so, and heels look nice. And, I mean, I love heels. I don't wear them. I actually don't but wear them. But what if you, like, you'd never be but able to go anywhere? Well, you would, though, because you'd be wearing them since birth, right? So, you, your foot would be, like, molded. You'd have calf issues. No, but, you'd have major calf issues no, because we're not biologically designed to wear heels. You'd adapt though, wouldn't you? My calves, are, you, you know, you'd evolve in, to in, a heel yeah, but wearing. In, yeah, <laughs> throughout generation after gen, not just you. Oh. Imagine like just going, how would you go to the gym? I don't go to the gym. I don't go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> what about you walking, getting your steps in? But um, it would come natural to me, wouldn't it? So I'd just be like in my heels, like doing my right. walk in my leggings. Ooh, right, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, fair oh dues, fair dues. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh this one's stupid. I'm not going to ask it. Well, um, I don't know the, what it is, man. It's just boring. It's like no. for a swimming costume, would you rather wear a swimming oh, costume one. or a bikini for yeah, the rest of your life? That one's stupid. That's, bo- that's so stupid and boring. <laughs> Um, only dresses or only coordination suits to all formal events? Suits? Actual su- Oh, God. Yeah, but like a, you know, like a power woman, like a boss lady uh, suit. Well, it all depends because, you know, I'd probably wear a dress because I don't really look good in a suit because you have to have like a petite suit. Yeah. Okay. Mm, no, I'd go dresses. Yeah, I think I, I mm. love a good suit. I'm going to get one, actually. You're going to suit? Okay. But, uh... Don't get it from Zara, apparently. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, but I do love a dress. Yeah, and you, you, you can twirl. Can... What's that from Bridesmaids? It has pockets. You can twirl. Oh, yeah. It's this one's really loose and flowy. I can't remember the bridesmaids. Yeah, when when they're picking out a bridesmaid dress and she's like, "Let's just get the." Is that where they all get really sick? Yeah. And, oh, and she's like, yeah. "You, I'm actually hungry and I would like a snack." And she's like, <laughs> "Got yeah. all sweat dripping down." She's like, "I would like a snack." <laughs> oh my god! And then she pees uh, in the in the dress. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love that film. <laughs> right, next one. Classic clothing for the rest of your life. So things that are like timeless. Mm-hmm. Or always being on the latest, like always being in trend with whatever the trend is at the time. No, I don't really follow trends, so I go, mm. with, I go with timeless. Okay. Just... I think I'm the opposite. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I'd... Yeah. But you'd be trender. Yeah. Because I think I do. I think my fashion... I don't know, actually. What do you think? Do you think my fashion... I think you're trender, yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I think you go with the trend. See, I've never really followed trends because I don't... Like, everyone's wearing these dresses at the minute. What are they called? I watched the sewing bee last night and they made one on it. Like a basket dress. Oh, oh right. No, not a basket dress. Basket dress. It's a dress that's basically everyone's wearing. Right. <laughs> and it's it's like kind of long sleeved it's got like a cinched waist and then it's got some kind of ruffles or something down it okay right okay but 
I mean, I liked it when it first came out, but now every single person's making it and every single person's wearing it. Yeah. It, I just don't. I don't want. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Like, it's interesting as well how trends literally are just recycled old trends. Well, yeah, they are. Like, it's like everyone's wearing Doc Martens at the minute. Like they were sewing in the eighties. Yeah, the they 70s. were. Yeah, like steampunk. Yeah, steampunk is that right? And like vans. Like I mm. was wearing vans when I was like. 12 13 and now everyone's wearing them so because now everyone's wearing them i'm like i don't want to wear them (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. but even like shape like silhouettes like now high-waisted is gradually getting lower and lower i know but i like how well i like i think high-waisted is better for most body types yeah it is easier for for like low rise is pretty much how can you pull low rise off unless you're just see no what did you used to wear you used to wear low rise baggy pants Mm. You just have like a long t shirt on so it'd cover it. Yeah. But they're, now everything's so cropped. comfy though. Yeah, but low white low rise jeans are so comfy. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. What's the name of this dress? Um mm. next question. Would you rather wear only sunglasses or only a hat for the rest of your life for like shielding yourself from the sun? What if it's raining? I still gotta wear my sun hat. And my sunglasses. <laughs> no, you can wear neither. Oh, but if okay. it's a sunny day, you've got a choice of only oh, a hat oh. or only sunglasses. Well, I don't really wear hats because they don't really suit me, so I go for sunglasses. Okay. I mean, hats are... I, I like them big beach hats with the... You've got one. Oh, I love my one. hat. Yeah. I really like that hat. I feel like a movie star in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> and it was only like... I think I got it from Venice. It was only like oh, a few yeah. euros. Oh, nice. And then I just... I bought it early on in the contract and then just wore it every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. So you're a hat then, a hat person. I think I am a hat person, yeah. But I also think sunnies just add sass to any outfit. They're just, yeah, they are nice. Like, imagine if it, it's not even that sunny of a day, but you just whack a pair of sunglasses on and you're instantly just cool. You're cool or hungover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of these questions are a bit boring. So... No, I can't even find many options. Fancy versus casual. Well, mm. <laughs> None. <laughs> I've got only midi or own wait midi mini, only mini or only maxi dresses. Which one? Um, I don't think I've ever worn a maxi dress. Yeah. So, mm, oh, mini though, mini at like. Mm. Yeah, mini or maxi. There's no. Oh God, no one wants to see there's no happy medium. <laughs> there's absolutely no happy oh, medium. Oh, maybe what about if I buy a, mi- a maxi dress right and then I take it up? <laughs> that no, that's cheating. Oh. That's not the brief. Oh, I think, I think I'll go for mini then. Because okay. you can put leggings underneath it. Yeah, get them leggings shy. out. <laughs> your leggings, your heels and your sunglasses. Yeah, exactly. And your there you go, that's a nice look. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's what they did in the 90s, didn't they? They wore like jeans under a dress. Do you remember yeah. that? that... Yeah. Oh There's a picture gosh, of yeah. Ashley, have you Terrifying. seen those pictures of Ashley Tisdale? Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. There's loads of like Mary-Kate and Ashley that used to dress like Yeah, that they did. Well. Oh, God. Yeah. Cringe. And like Lindsay Lohan, Amanda Bynes, like that kind of yeah. generation. I was talking to someone, someone that I speak to from like, I do like I did like a pineapple dance thing like a few years ago. Oh yeah. And there's a lady there, and she was basically telling me that the nineties are coming back because Paris Hilton was on the cover of a Vanity Fair, is it oh. Van- or a Tatler magazine? So All like right. That. So the nineties are back. Yeah. Everyone's wearing bucket hats apparently in London as well. They are bucket hats. Yep. Uh, I've considered getting one. Not gonna lie. Gosh, I love a hat trend. though. You know me, I love a hat. But a bucket hat, they remind me of like indie bands from the 90s. That's cool. <laughs> happy Mondays with a bucket hat. That's, that's cool. <laughs> but we're genuine Happy Monday fans though. Like we've been brought up with that kind of music. So. Yeah, that's true. We're not doing that because it's trendy. We're doing it because we're from Manchester. <laughs> from Manchester. That was awful. <laughs> right, I've got another game. Oh, is it better than this one? <laughs> it's, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm boring you. Yeah. Um, it's the song game. I play this with my oh, students okay. on lock- over lockdown. Um, basically, um, I think... Um, who does it? There's um, They do it on YouTube with, like, fame, with celebrities. Mm. Basically, I give you a word and you have to come up with... I'm going to get my timer out. You oh, have to come up with oh, a God, song. No pressure. I'm going to give you... Should we do like seven seconds? Okay. No, let's do five. Oh, okay. If oh, if God. that's not enough, we'll, we'll give you more time. But you have to come up with a song with that word. Like in. the first one that pops into your head. Yeah. That might be the most fun. Yeah. yeah first okay. one. Okay. Are you ready? Is that 
Are we starting it or is yeah. that an option? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm all. Right, okay, yeah. So, the first word is... Sun. The sun always shines on TV. What's that? Is that a song? Okay. <laughs> that was five seconds. The sun always shines on you know TV. That? The sun always shines on me. <laughs> For those of you that can't see us right now, I'm dancing. I think he's called Sun. Oh, I don't know. Um, Does that count? I'm not sure whether to give you a point for that one. What's it called, though? It's the sun I'm always shines the sun. It's got to be. Yeah, it's called The Sun Always Shines on TV by oh. Aha. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. Back. Yeah, that right. works. Point it's, to you. It's your turn now. Yeah. Do you have to pick a word? You have to pick a word. And, and then we'll get my timer. Okay, yeah. Fab. Um, I'm not good at this. I get My brain freezes. Oh, mine's, mine's permanently frozen. <laughs> 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 right. What, just a word, right? You ready? Mm -hmm. Dog. Who let the dog <laughs> down? Who, 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 who. Okay, yeah, that was like two seconds. That was quite good. And the verses are like, yeah. Step back, gruffy. Step back, fluffy. Something, get back, you flea infested mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Infested mongrel. Mongrel. What's that other song? <laughs> Isn't there a dog in that one? You were listening to it. The, the greyhound. No. Greyhound? The dog. The Bloodhound Gang. Oh, Bloodhound Gang. <laughs> is there a dog in that? <laughs> There's not a dog in oh. that. The dress, the dress, the dress is like beavers or something. Right, like that. that's why I'm thinking. Of, okay, yeah. Right. Okay, <laughs> are you ready for the next go, word? Go, remember that. Yeah. The next word, ocean. Ocean Avenue by Yellow Card. Wow, you did that in two seconds. That's me. <laughs> How does that song go? Do you, do you want to play it? Well, you could sing it if you're feeling... I don't know the word. <laughs> Ready? Ocean Avenue. Oh my god, it's so old. I would have said Ocean Eyes. Oh. Let me just... It's a bit of a mosh one. I'm trying to find it where it says it. You probably won't say it now. No, it won't say it, but it's called Ocean Avenue. Right, okay. Oh, I'll accept, I'll accept. <laughs> Right. Okay. Next one. Yeah. Yeah. Clear my mind. Oof. Go into mm. a meditative place. Uh, dance. I want to dance with somebody. Oh, that was, that was strike that was upon two seconds. The <laughs> the sun begins to fade. Right. Okay. Next one. I'm gonna make this harder now. Oh God. Okay. Um. Let's see. What is ocean eyes? Billy. Billy. Uh, Billy Eilish. Uh, I know how to make me cry. Oh, she's you drab for not listening to her. <laughs> yeah, but she, her and her brother do everything from their home studio, from home. Really? Just with their own, like, oh, nice. every every song she's ever done mm. is just her and her brother Aww. doing it together, That's mixing cute. it. It's And he's such a good producer. Like, when oh. there's, there's videos out there of breakdowns of their songs mm. and all the different things he's added in. Yeah. And... It's just like so creative. It's really oh, cool. cool. Yeah. Is he older? I th uh, I think he is. Yeah, I think mm. he's older. I'm not sure. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give you a word, and I already have a, a song in mind, and I'm oh, gonna okay. see if you're gonna say the song that I'm thinking of. Right. Whistle. Blow my whistle. <laughs> 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 beep, 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 beep. Oh my god! Hang on, we have to play that. I absolutely knew you were gonna People say that. People are not that. gonna know what this is about you. I it's think, called mm. The Whistle Song by yeah. DJ Alligator. I don't even need to look that Is up. Is it? DJ yeah. Alligator? Whistle, <laughs> <laughs> People are like, I'm going to turn off now. <laughs> Maybe for just for this week I'll have that as the intro to the podcast. <laughs> God, what an absolute banger oh, that, that is. is. Such a my, my turn, right. We love our like, 90s club <laughs> tunes awesome, don't we awful music it's so fun <laughs> right um hmm, i'm thinking i'm thinking i don't know i've already said i forgot disco um disco inferno oh disco inferno okay nice. how does it go it's, it's that advert with the rubber duck in it that disco do, inferno do, 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 do. yeah that one yeah yeah. Okay, yeah. Disco Inferno. I was also thinking of from Paris to Berlin and every disco oh. I get in my heart. No, you wouldn't have got that because that's called 
Forest of the Lone. But it has the word disco in. I thought that'd be the title. No. Oh. It just okay. has to have the word in. Oh, uh, okay. I was thinking Disco Land, but it's because I was listening to it the other day. Oh, yeah. Flipping Phil. Flipping Phil, <laughs> yeah. We're on to 90s stuff, aren't we? We're, we're on a club oh, land. Do you remember club I land? I think that's what I had on. I had like club land random party tune thing on yeah. Spotify. Yeah. I had some very strange songs on it. Love it though. <laughs> right. Um, okay, next song I'm going to give you is i want to make it harder um let's do love love is all around us <laughs> that was, that's a song in it wet 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 love is in the air in everywhere the air. i look around is it actually a song love is all around love is all around. you know what i mean oh. i'm from um from Love Actually. Yeah, Love Christmas the- is yeah, all yeah. around me. <laughs> Bill Nye. Yeah. Oh, he's so good. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, that was a good one. Should we have this as our last one, or are you feeling this? How long have we got left? We've got, Should like, we go five minutes. Today? Oh, well, this is the last one, then. Okay. Is it your, t- it's your turn, isn't it, right? Yeah. I'm going to do a hard one. Okay. Fish. I'm a little yellow fish oh, in the oh deep God, blue sea. Do you <laughs> didn't think you'd get that. That was hard. Yeah. I'm Is that like... Aqua? Can somebody no. help me? No, that's... I'm a little yellow It's not fish. Aqua, but I know what you mean. Hang on. It, it's not who little... sings Barbie Girl, is it? No, that's that's Aqua. Oh. Little yellow fish. I used to sing that in, in primary school with my friends, and we made a little dance routine, like, little yellow fish. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's called Help, I'm a Fish by Little Trees. Oh, okay. I'm going, DJ Alligator's coming back on again. All right. Not... <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. 2001. Oh, how old was I in 2001? I was six. Six. That's so funny that that's the first song that's that came to my funny. head when you said fish. I know. I couldn't even think fish, what would I say? I don't even have one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an obscure word. Fish. Hmm. Hmm. Fish. No. No, don't know. Like, Me. what about SpongeBob? Flop like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. <laughs> oh, God, do you want to watch that again? I watch SpongeBob quite regularly, I'm not ashamed to say. I miss SpongeBob. Every time, when I, when I used to get home from high school dead early, mm. I used to come home and lie on that couch and just watch SpongeBob before everyone came in at four. Yeah. It's on kids' Netflix. Go Those on Netflix and you know when it says who's watching? Oh, okay. Go on kids and oh, SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. Like, loads of SpongeBob's on there. That's, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's how I spend my evenings watching SpongeBob. <laughs> <That's wonderful. laughs> yeah. So, um,. This has been, I think, what we needed, hasn't it? To refresh. Mm. And you were saying as well, you feel like you've got loads of different things. You've got three different courses going on. Oh, yeah, I've just got too much going on. But I'm, the thing is, though, is I, I'm getting through it, whereas I wasn't before. Okay, yeah. So I found that if I, if I spend, like, if I make sure that I do the courses every single day, I'm doing, like, an hour on them each a day. Yeah. Apart from weekends. Yeah. But I'm getting through it, and then after that, it's like working on the business. Yeah. But, but I think, I don't know. I think I'm just, it's just one of them days, you know, where you just want to like hide in a cave. Or... Yeah, we just have yeah. we just have down days. Yeah. And the thing is, when when you have a down day, you it's hard to like convince yourself that it's just that day, and yeah. it's it's like that quote that says you're just having a bad day, not a bad life. Yeah, that's true. Because on it the does bad feel days, like a bad life. <laughs> yeah, like, it oh, feels no. like everything is yeah. yeah. But then when you have, when you wake up and your mindset is, feels like it's lifted, mm. you realise, oh, that was just that day. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's, it's knowing on those days, do I fight through it and do I keep going? Or do I have this little, like, because with, even with the podcast, like, deciding to do something lighter. Yeah. Has and been sort of more helpful than. Rebrand. I think it's as well, I don't know, because. I think it may be partly because I did networking as well yesterday and that tends to drain you because like you don't know anyone and you're literally pitching yourself. I think I pitched myself to three or four different groups of people. Yeah. There was like seven of us in the breakouts. Mm. So you just That's really good though. Oh, I got some really good feedback actually. Yeah. It's really good. So networking is worth it. But yeah. yeah, maybe just the day after. Maybe I'll try and do another one and I'll see how I am the day after again and see okay. if it is that that's just took all my energy up that I just want to flop the day after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. 
and some days do just feel easier than others than others like with me with my teaching you know you have some sessions that are just you and the student are just like bouncing ideas off of each other mm. and it's all and then you have other days where there's just that little bit of a block mm. you know it might be a block on my part where I'm having to really like you're just not feeling it kind of thing you're struggling yeah um and I guess it's with everything some days it just feels like it's really inspired and it's everything flows and mm. everything aligns and then other days you've got to work a little bit harder to find that like harmony yeah 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 mm. interesting but at the end of the day i'm a little yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm and i'm blowing my whistle <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh <laughs> so it's gonna be stuck in my head all I day now i know that. i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah i also i want to get into songwriting now we're gonna end the podcast now but um, oh, okay i want to get into songwriting and i was talking to my friend about i think my process is wrong because mm. i write the music and then i come up with melodies that i really like and then i get stuck and then i'm like how do i possibly fit lyrics to this and what's right. it even about so i'm gonna just for as an experiment do lyrics first okay so watch this space try maybe. it and see see if that helps yeah yeah i'd like to reach out to anyone who listens to the podcast um how would you write a song how would you how why don't you look how, how billy eilish um what she does and her brother Ooh, that's a good shout that might be a good one have a look at what her process because she's yeah you might be able to find it online somewhere yeah and there are a lot of artists that don't do both they write either just music or just lyrics mm. maybe i'm one of those people because i just i just struggle to do both and in what order see i'm i'm quite good at coming up with instrumentals so i'd probably do the music yeah but i do it in my head it never it never goes out oh, anyway. okay it's just in yeah. my head like yeah that oh, that's good, good though yeah but you like i have some students if you were to sing something in your head i could probably write it i could probably figure out what your chords are and what mm. you and like actually make that come to life because i have some of my students who are quite young they're like oh, i wrote a song at school and oh, i'm like oh great yeah. why don't you sing it for me and then we've worked together to mm. put music under their song oh that's nice see i'm i'm the opposite though i can't write i just write the music I yeah just hear, i just hear music i'm not lyrical oh yeah so yeah yeah maybe that's me too there. you might be yeah yeah Oh well, I, I guess we'll know. figure it out. We'll, we'll figure these out. things out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It's a little bit more laid back mm. than usual, mm -hmm. which yeah, you, I know it's, it's nice to have a different a difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I can't even make words anymore. It's nice to have a difference. It's nice to have a difference. <laughs> Little yellow fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and we hope you enjoyed last week with Alex. That was, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, he's a superstar. He really is. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next week for next week's episode. Mm -hmm. Have a lovely week. Have a nice week. End. <laughs> Have a nice week. End. <laughs> and scene. Yeah. And cut. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye, everyone. Bye. See.